One of the great things about a pan tilt camera like the Eufy Solo Cam S340 is its ability to rotate around and see who's there. The problem that you might run into is mounting. It has a flexible mounting solution where you can mount it to a wall, a pole, or flipping it around, mount it to an eaves. The problem is you have to drill this into something in order to mount this camera. What if you didn't want to put holes in your house? Then something like this might be exactly what you're looking for. I'm Wonder 001, let's get into it. In the past, when I have mounted Pantel cameras like this, I've zip tied them to my downspout or precariously placed them. Not always a great solution. For the Eufy Solo Cam S340 in particular, you have the option of this, a siding mount. It might not look like a lot, realistically, just a flat piece of metal with a hook, but this will allow you to place your S340 anywhere that you have siding on your home, opening up the possibilities of where you can place this. And to use this, it is actually very simple. You have three mounting screws that coincide with the mounting plate for the S340. And I will show you quickly what that looks like. You simply unscrew each of the sections and then screw into the back. As you can see here, it does line up very easily. The screws themselves are kind of short, so they might be a little tricky to work with. I'll show you very quickly, just kind of locking that into place so it doesn't get away from you. And just like that, it's mounted into place. The screws themselves are really short, as you can see, because you don't want really long screws getting away from you and digging into the side of your house. Now, I did mention that it will hook under your siding, but you'd probably notice these two longer screws here. What these do is allow, once it's hooked under your siding, these act as levelers to help keep things straight, but give a little weight distribution to the camera as it's placed against your siding. Let me show you what that actually looks like in practice so that you get a better idea. Once mounted, that blade come under your siding like this, it hooks in and just give it a snug push up there to make sure it's in place. And then you'll tighten down the lug nuts on either side so that they push up against your siding. You can kind of see, I had this on here before, there is some markings. I wish there was a little pad there, but you could add one of your own to keep it from uh, bouncing around. But once it's locked in there, it doesn't go anywhere. I've had this in high wind and rain and everything, and it's hung in there just perfectly fine. There you saw, ridiculously simple to actually install. Yes, they do recommend that you take the uh, camera off to do it, but as you saw, I was able to do it with the camera still attached and everything. So if you're looking for a different way to mount your Eufy Solo Cam S340 and you have siding, then something like this will open up a world of opportunity for you. If you're looking to pick one up for yourself, I will have a link down in the description area below. If you appreciate this type of review, make sure to hit that like button to help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here and want to be notified of my next review, hit that subscribe button. Interested in other Eufy cameras? On screen now, you'll see two other reviews that I've done to help you make a more informed decision for yourself.